Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today we're going to be covering a an especially advanced mechanic or skill, which was a remake of an old tutorial, yada 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 yada. Basically boss spawn via items. In order for this to work, I'm going to go ahead and say you need to have World Guard and Mythic Artifacts. Um, well, World Guard is regional or optional, obviously it's regional. But artifacts is a must. If you do not have mythic artifacts, this will not work. So if you don't have it, uh, I suggest finding a workaround or just ignore this tutorial entirely. However, if you do have it, let's uh, we'll go ahead and get on into it. Now, first things first, if you have not joined my Discord, make sure to go ahead and check it out because there's a lot of activity going on in there. You got a, a lot of people asking questions, a lot of people answering questions. You got some pretty cool showcases going on. Um, you can also find links to my mob packs that I've created, as well as my tutorial packs that you can download for free in order to get the files that I've used in my tutorials so far. So, if that sounds good to you, make sure to jump on over into my Discord channel, come say hi to me and everybody else in the crew, and we would be happy to see you there. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, this is a pretty advanced tutorial, to be honest with you. If you're not familiar with it, um... I highly suggest uh, maybe looking at the manual for some of the things we're going to be covering because today we're going to be covering a few different things. We're going to be covering the at sig or on signal trigger, we're going to be covering pseudo skill, and we're also going to be using modify mob score mechanic. Pretty complicated stuff, honestly. These are all more advanced user, uh, you know, plugin stuff. So. If you're not familiar with Mythic Mobs, you either will want to follow along very carefully or just maybe come back at another time when you're more familiar with Mythic Mobs and how it works. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on into it. First thing you're going to want, you're going to want to go ahead and have your boss and you're going to want to have your boss spawner. We're going to actually, I'm going to rename this here, Big Boy Spawner, so that way we're consistent. So as you can see, all I, all I have here is just an armor stand with some very, you know, easy options. Marker, interactable, has gravity and invisible. Uh, we will be switching invisible once we know it works, but we don't know that it does yet because we haven't added anything. So what we're going to do, we're going to give him some skills. First, we're going to uh, give him a skill. S equals spawn big boy. Okay. Now... We're going to want to do at self, and here we're going to want to add the on signal. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just call the signal big boy. One thing I want to go ahead and let you know, you cannot make this any longer than 15 characters. So if it's longer than 15 characters and you're wondering why it's not working, that's why. You Your signal names need to be fairly short, but still easily recognizable for your sake. Uh, if it's, again, if it's longer than 15 characters, it will not work, so be wary of that. Next, we're going to go ahead and add some, uh, some quick maintenance things here. We're going to do, uh, let's see, modify, oops, modify mob score. Here we're going to go ahead and set our objective name. Uh, we're going to call it big boy also, just to stay consistent. Action equals set and value equals zero. At self again on signal BB reset. Okay. Now our last maintenance thing, this is what I use to test scores so that way I can tell where the mob is sitting at. Because a lot of the times you cannot tell unless it just so happens to work for you the first time. But this is helpful to have uh, when you're still testing the mob out. So we're gonna do a thing here. Action message, message, M equals, make sure you got these uh, less than equal signs going on here. So we're gonna do mob.score.bigboy because that's what our objective name is here. And do you know this will work with literally any objective uh, so long as it's on a mob, of course. You can do global, but uh, global is a little bit harder to mess with because that works across the entire server. Mob score just means the mob itself has that score. So, um, yeah, just some something to know. So, we're going to do at PIR R equals 20 on timer 10 seconds, or 10 ticks. Okay, so this is all the maintenance we're going to need right here. 
basically this one whenever we're done will be tagged out like that and it will no longer be in use but for now we're gonna have it active so we can see where we are sitting next we're gonna we're gonna go and actually add our thing here so we're gonna go down to our boss and we're gonna add our first thing so signal s equals bb reset at mobs and radius r equals 100 uh this can vary depending on the size of your arena but um what i highly suggest is just making it a really big number so that way you know if your boss is like really far away from your spawner uh you know your spawner will still get this and it'll be able to reset itself because if not um you know it probably won't work out very well uh you can do a reset actually or you can literally just make it remove your mob so like remove at mobs and radius you can do it either way um but reset makes it a little bit faster if you're especially if you're using spawners so we're gonna do that types equals big boy spawner okay um and last on death this means it will reset our spawner whenever our boss dies but we still need to make the skill for it so first skill uh sorry first skill we have is spawn big boy so spawn big boy conditions here we're gonna go and add that score so score objective equals big boy uh pay attention to your capitalization here too notice i have the two b's capitalized just like i do uh right here this is very important because if say this is lowercase and the other ones are capitalized uh they will actually not be the same objective they will be two different objectives because they are case sensitive so uh i highly suggest just copying and pasting this over into your score objective as such so now that we got that out of the way we're gonna do value equals zero true this means the mob has to have a score of zero in order for it to be able to summon a boss. If it's any higher than zero, it will not work. So now we can go and do this. Skills summon type equals big boy at self. Okay, now there's another fairly complicated thing here, which I said we were going to cover, um, called pseudo skill. So here we're going to do pseudo skill s equals um bb spawn use it's uh, it's getting a little complicated but like i said this is a fairly advanced tutorial so i will be covering it but you've got to pay attention here so we went ahead and called this our skill so we're gonna just go ahead and copy and uh, paste this down here Oh, actually, no, one more thing we need to do. Uh, we need to copy this just up to at self because this is the actual changing of the score here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and switch this to value equals one. Okay, so whenever, we, whenever it spawns our boss, its value will be at one, so it won't be able to spawn it again until our boss is killed. Next, spawn use. Okay, so here we're gonna do skills um, consume held item. And then, actually I believe that's all we really need for that. Next we need to set up our player skill for his item. So here, his or her item. So here we're gonna go ahead and add a uh, thing here. So. Hmm, what name have we not used yet? Spawn big boy, BB spawn use. Okay, so skill s equals big boy signal. Okay, we have not used that one yet. So at mobs and radius, r equals 20. Uh, types equals big boy spawner. Okay, I highly suggest keeping this radius fairly low. Uh, here you can use world guard and i'm actually going to go and show you how real quick but um 
for most sakes, I highly recommend just keeping this radius fairly low. But what you can do is get our mob set up, and then we have this condition where you can do region r equals your region here. True. So this means no matter how big of a radius you set this to be, it can only be used if your player is within a region you set up using world guard. Um, I do not have any set up, so I will be just tagging this out. However, I will keep it in the file for you guys in case you want to play around with it. So next, we're going to do signal s equals, what did we say our signal? Big boy. So big boy. And that should actually be all we need to add for it, to be honest with you. So make sure you save your files. And we're going to go ahead and reload and just give it a test run. And we're going to see uh, what does and doesn't work. So uh, we're going to spawn our boss spawner. I am failing miserably here. Big boy spawner. Okay. So as you can see down here... Um, yeah, okay, so it's set to zero. You can see that floating zero there. That means his current score is zero. Apparently I said his radius really low. Let's see what I see. Oh, okay, my bad. So I forgot to actually bracket that. Thankfully it still worked. Let's go ahead and reload that here. Okay, so now we can see it from even further away. Uh, assuming you're not like over snow like I am. Okay, so now we're gonna get our item. I get spawn catalyst. Which is one thing I forgot to mention. I'm sorry, I didn't go over this. Uh, I just have a simple item layout here. You can do whatever you want. You can make it whatever you want. I highly suggest not using blocks because there are some occasions where it'll bug and you're, uh, you'll place them and they'll reappear in your inventory and they will be nameless. And it has to have the exact same name here as it does here. And if it resets to like stone, then it will no longer work. It will just be a piece of stone in your inventory. So... Uh, try to use just unplaceable items such as gold ingots or anything like that. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and test out. We're going to right click. And so far, something's not working right. So, let's see what we did. Okay, so we forgot to add our trigger here on use. So we're going to reload again. We're going to right click. And it looks like it worked. Let's go ahead and get this guy out of the way here. Uh, okay, so as you can see, the score went back down to zero. You probably can or cannot hear it, but I am right-clicking constantly while holding the spawn catalyst, and you can see that score is not changing, and there is still only one giant here. That's how we know our mob score thing worked. Okay, so far so good. Now, uh, the consume held item thing, it's a bit tricky to work with. I'm not too concerned about it, however, it can be helpful. Um, a trigger, so we're going to go ahead and do at self here. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll fix it. If not, that's okay. I didn't fix it, but you know what, that's alright. That's, it's a hard mechanic to get over or to use, to be honest with you, so, um, you know, just be wary of that. Um, I had it work. I actually had it working before we started, to be honest with you. So, I don't know what's going on, but uh, you know what? That's okay. It's uh, it's something to mess with. Uh, I clearly don't have the answer for you right now, but you know. Anyway, everything else is working properly. One thing you can always do too is you could just, if this isn't working for you, just uh, throw consume held item at itself, literally down to like right there. Um, the only issue this will come across. Actually, you won't come across, you won't have any issue with this. So, as long as you have a World Guard region set up. If you do not, then uh, then your player might be able to waste it anywhere in the world without actually spawning a boss. Just something to be wary of. But everything else is working just fine. Now, one thing I do want to show you. What if, what if, say we die? Well, what about the boss, the mob? Will it ever... Uh, Will it ever fix itself? Will it ever go back? Well, here's the cool part about it. As you can see, it despawned entirely, even though so even though its score was set to one, its score was in fact cleared. So if we spawn in our spawner again, as you can see, we can literally restart the process as many times as we want or need. 
Uh, of course, it'll only despawn if all the players around have died. Um, if there's a player still alive, you know, it won't despawn, but uh, that's up to you to determine. Um, and then whenever we know that we have it working, we can actually set invisible to true and we can tag this out so that way it's not constantly play, uh, spamming players with a number. So let's go and do that. Um, we're gonna go and kill all. Big boy spawner. Okay, so we can't see it, but it is there. And for proof, we're gonna go and do MMI get spawn catalyst. Um, we're gonna get another one actually. So, just to show you, as you can see, our boss spawned. Um, yeah. So my other spawn catalyst got used, but again, that's because, you know, I, uh, it's said to use right now, but it did not spawn another boss. It's, it's a fairly complicated thing. Like I said, the pseudo skill is actually kind of, kind of hard to figure it out. It, it requires a lot of player around with. There's like, no, I don't think anybody ever gets it on the first try, so don't get frustrated if you are trying it and it does not work. However, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you today. That was a pretty lengthy tutorial, but it's also a very advanced uh, kind of skill mechanic thing set up, so uh, I hope you got a lot out of this. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below if you have any other things you want to see covered or uh, anything else of the matter. Basically, um... Yeah, good luck with your servers, because this is a pretty hard one to cover. Again, make sure to join my Discord if you haven't already, if you want to stay up to date and have some pretty cool, uh, you know, tips and whatever. If you have any questions for the community, I'm sure they would be more than happy to help. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.